Hey there, this is Mr. Icarus, and welcome to yet another edition of Doom Mod Madness. Nothing quite like a horde of screaming revenants to introduce you to a brand new what is there. But anyway, this is Ludacrium, an award-winning joke wad that parodies the idea of the slaughter map. Having said that, what exactly is a slaughter map? Well, typically it's the kind of map that isn't really all that concerned with the intricacies of level design. It's more concerned with pitting you against hordes upon hordes of monsters and challenging you with getting out the other side alive, be it with the assistance of heavy weaponry or by taking advantage of other aspects such as demon infighting. That aspect in particular is used to great effect in this first map here, what with all those revenants just falling down dead, but Ludacrium has more than one trick up its sleeve, and happily, it's not afraid to challenge you with them either. This second map here is a little bit of a change of pace from the first one. Instead of revenants, we're dealing with archviles. Oh, how I hate archviles, but at least the silver lining here is that I get to kill quite a lot of them in fairly quick succession. And the trick here is to take heed to the title of the map. It's called Do Not Panic. And the reason for that is, as long as you keep laying fire down on the archviles here, they won't be able to nail you with the flame pillar. Naturally, that doesn't always work, but hey, at least there's some nice strategically placed med packs here to help you along your way. I think one of the aspects that I like most about this particular map here is that it changed how I approached encounters with archviles. Traditionally, I'd just run for the nearest pillar and block line of sight so they couldn't do that flame pillar attack on me, but this encourages you to just go absolutely crazy and just confront them head on, blast at them to interrupt the animation with the super shotgun, and in this case, just completely massacre them with the BFG 9000. If you're wondering why I'm not taking any lava damage here, that'd be because I've also got a hazard suit as part of the BFG pickup, but it is actually quite important to get rid of of all these revenants here before you go on and tackle the rest of this particular map because uh, if you if you let some of these guys roam around they can really make it difficult for you to actually reach the end but that's all of those taken care of now we can actually flip the blue switch here that will reveal the rest of this map's challenge we've got to do a quick run up these pillars in order to reach the other side something that i'm not always that great at unfortunately and as you can see there's a bit of a, a time limit hazard here because your environmental suit also runs down over time so you gotta make sure you do all this stuff in a timely fashion otherwise you'll you'll end up with your feet in very very hot lava also these revenants on this final platform can occasionally knock you off which can be a little aggravating but as i say it's not without its challenge Map 3 is called Gravity Sucks, and it's quite possibly my favorite map out of the bunch available here in Ludacrium, and that's because everything about it, just down to the concept of play here, is, is ingenious to me. First of all, you've got to flick a switch. If you don't, it'll result in a very quick death at roughly 100 Cyberdemon rockets, but once you hit it, the platform you're on starts plummeting, and those projectiles soon have nowhere else to go but seemingly upwards. They can't keep up with the plummeting platform, giving you ample opportunity to fight your way through the Cyber Demon hordes and crucially get your hands on some much needed supplies, namely BFG 9000 ammo. So this enables you to carve even more effectively through the Cyber Demons here, thinning out their numbers until the platform finally hits the bottom. And you want to have these numbers as thin as possible because the platform will pause momentarily at the bottom of this fall, meaning all of those projectiles suddenly have a direct line to my face. Oh, Jesus, there we go. And on the way back up, you'll find that those projectiles now just go straight down into the floor. Now, as a result of this, you're probably thinking the return trip is probably going to be a lot easier than the trip down. And in some respects, you're probably right. I mean, it's a hell of a lot easier to take care of these cyber demons now that my BFG round collides with the floor, rather than whiffing off somewhere into the sky if I miss. But cyber demons aren't the only card that this map has to play, because about halfway up, this happens, and you have to also fight a spider mastermind. You have no idea how many times that caught me off guard. The first time it happened, I wasn't anticipating it, and it, it made me rather annoyed. But good grief. I think we've actually done this one. This is probably 20 tries in the making. I hope you all appreciate this one, but it's still, hands down, my favorite map of the bunch. 
The kind of map that looks impossible at first glance, but is just tremendously satisfying to conquer. This next map's pretty interesting, and that's largely because the biggest threat to our health in this particular map isn't the gigantic demon horde we're facing down here, but the fact that if we let the horde too close, the thing that'll kill us quicker is probably the self-damage from our rockets, because these guys are actually pretty toothless. Now, if this were your regular run-of-the-mill slaughter map, you'd probably be facing down a hail of imp fireballs at this point, probably desperately hoping for a bit of demon infighting to ensue, just to whittle down the enemy numbers. But because these guys don't fight back or chuck fireballs or even stop you from running straight through them, you can pick a nice open spot to just pelt them utterly and comprehensively to death with rockets. Kind of makes the whole thing seem kind of trivial, doesn't it? Same goes for the pinkies outside. Once you cross a particular line, they spawn in, and it's pretty much the same technique for those guys. So you're probably wondering, where's the challenge here? Is it just keeping your distance? That seems a bit lame, right? Well, as with the previous map, this isn't the only card this one has to play. Now, for anyone out there who's played the first share of Slaughter Maps, the next part should be obvious. Yep, Archviles. Because, of course, that's what you do when you've had the player just demolish a horde of enemies, bring in an archvile just so they can get to work and resurrect all of those sons of bitches. But here, it takes on a little bit of a different dimension. Because if you'll recall, the imps and the pinkies in this level can't actually harm us. The only legitimate threat here is the archvile. That's the thing that you'll need to focus your firepower on. But you'll soon find that these resurrected enemies are basically meat shield for these archviles, making it actually quite tough to land a direct hit and leaving you quite vulnerable to those flame attacks. What seemed to be a rather trivial task earlier on in keeping your distance from these toothless hordes actually becomes a fair bit trickier here because you've basically got 16 archviles all rezzing enemies from all sorts of different directions while you're desperately searching for that one little window of opportunity to land a rocket hit on them and sooner or later you'll do something silly hit an enemy directly in front of yourself and deal quite a lot of self-damage. It suddenly becomes a little bit more fiendish, a lot more tricky to actually deal with. I just find it's a great example of how Ludicrium just messes with the, the slaughter map formula and provides you with something a little different from what you'd normally expect. If I had to pick my least favorite map out of the bunch, I think this one right here would definitely be the winner. And that's because all you can really do here is either watch these pain elementals throw up even more pain elementals or shoot them, in which case they'll explode into more pain elementals, which as you can see, they seem to do all on their own after a while. And yep, that inevitably leads to Slowdown City. I think what annoys me more than anything about this particular map is not the slowdown, but the fact that there doesn't seem to be any legitimate way to actually complete this particular map. I think if there was, it would feel a little less pointless, I guess. Maybe there is a way to finish it. I'd love to hear a solution in the comments if there is one, but until then, yeah, I'm thinking it's probably best to skip the old pain elemental slideshow. Last, but certainly not least, is Doom Doom Baby, the final map which pits you against a rival Doom guy who seems to be shouting at you with lines from one of the soldiers at a crisis, and also is armed with what seems to be an everlasting plasma gun. All you can really do is strafe for your life. If you stop strafing, it's going to result in a very quick death, but in the meantime you can at least enjoy the spectacle of all of the enemies at the sidelines just being blown away or flung up into the air when they get struck by the plasma fire. This one's actually pretty difficult, it requires quite a lot of focus and you'll need to be very aware of where those extra energy pickups are if you actually want to have any hope of defeating this particular adversary. It's certainly doable, it's certainly something that I've managed to complete which certainly puts it above the previous level, that's for sure. But yeah, that's pretty much Ludicrium for you, aptly ludicrous, a tremendously fun spin on the slaughter map genre, and if you fancy checking it out for yourself, the link, as usual, is in the description below. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video, feel free to let me know what you thought in the comments below, and feel free to suggest any mods you'd like to see me cover in future episodes of Doom Mod Madness. This has been Mr. Icarus, thank you very much for watching, Icarus out.